Let's get to the news. The Senate passed a Republican tax bill just before 2 a.m. on Saturday. And if you're wondering if that's a good thing, try to remember the last time anything good happened to you at 2 a.m. on a Saturday. 2 a.m. on Saturday is when your drunk friend gets in the back of a police car because he thought it was an Uber and then barfs on himself. 2 a.m. is when your friend who's into Coke says, I'm going to get some more Coke. Senate Democrats on Friday criticized Republicans for making last-minute handwritten changes to the tax reform bills hours before there was a vote on it. I can't even read this. Said Trump about a different thing. A new poll has found that 48% of Roy Moore's supporters plan to vote for him because he's the best person for the job. What's the job? Male stripper for nursing homes? Stand back, ladies. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn on Friday pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about contacts with the Russian ambassador. And if that's what he pleaded to, you know whatever he did was worse. It's like if OJ had pleaded guilty to changing lanes without signaling. According to former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski's upcoming book, White House Communications Director Hope Hicks steamed President Trump's suits during the campaign while he was wearing them. So that's not a tan. That's a second-degree burn. Just a little hot steam here. A possum broke into a Florida liquor store recently and was found by an employee on a shelf next to an empty bottle of liquor. Said the possum, I do not recall those events. Howie. I was out with friends having a perfectly nice night, and then I woke up here. A drunk driver in Australia recently threatened and yelled at McDonald's staff after they told him the 200 McNuggets he ordered were not available. But ladies, he is. A Minnesota cat has been banned from a college library after sneaking in on multiple occasions, so I guess it'll never get to the bottom of laser pointers. Very, very reluctant applause for a cat who learned how to read. A Brooklyn-based brewery has released a beer named after Beyonce called Beer Anse, and it's selling a lot better than their Jay Zima. <laughs>